How much are you gonna charge for that set of nails? This was a set of nails that was done by our UK mentor, Carly Ritchie. Also going by the Instagram handle, dits.ynmentor. Now, here's the thing with this set. This has a lot going on. This is definitely a seasonal design. Do you recommend that your clients go literal with like pumpkins and ghosts and ghouls? Or do you push them to go themed? What's the difference? Is one better than the other? Also, there's a lot of little things going on in this design. There's ombres, there's striping, there's rhinestones in it. Like, do you charge for everything? Do you do a combination? Let's not ask me because I'm not the pro here. Let's talk to somebody that is. That would be her, Tracy Ryerson. How are we feeling tonight? Fabulous. <laughs> Thanks for asking. I'm looking at the set of nails. Yep. And there's, there is a lot going. There is. The first question is, do you go themed or should we bust out some pumpkins on this nail? Why or why not? I really don't like to go pumpkins and bats and all that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you why. Because I want my client to get the best value. Okay. And so let's say they are going to a party or it's you know a holiday thing and the very next day after, they're like, I have friggin' <laughs> pumpkins on my nails. What am I doing through Thanksgiving? Right. So if I give them something that is more holiday party ready, um, like a theme. A seasonal right. look right. Uh, versus literal, uh, they're, on, they're honestly gonna be happier normally, or sometimes they insist, that's okay. But I really try to push them in this direction because it's gonna last them three weeks in between their service. Are you ready to show us and give us all the details? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sure. This time you're ready. No. I'm going to start with just showing you the ombre, which is a black ombre, which I'm not gonna love my client for this one. Um, black ombres are a pain. We're gonna go for kind of a smoky look. <laughs> Um, and then um, I'm going to show you a technique on the orange that she did that will make it very quick and easy to maintain later for you down the road. So we kind of, when we're doing a set like this, we have to kind of think past the set, right? Sure. How is it going to make, how is it going to be easier for us down the road? So we're going to go over that, but we're first going to start with the ombre. So we're going to start by just showing you the items that you would need to accomplish the full set before we go into the ombre. We're going to, of course, start with our liquid. We're gonna have cover pink powder, rainbow black uh, acrylic, speed clear. For the orange look, I'm gonna show you guys how to use your slick pour with your conversion base and top. And then the gold stripe that was on there, we're gonna use mission control for. And then there's a rhinestone in there. I don't have those, so we'll worry about that later. <laughs> this looks like a lot of product. Is that deceiving? It's, I mean, it's not like it's going to take that much longer, correct? No. I mean, honestly, this set's maybe hour, hour and a half. Okay. We're going to start with a rainbow black. I'm going to get ourselves a nice little pearl. I'm going to bleed it out a little bit so it stays put when I stick it on the form. I'm going to place it out here on the form. And then we'll work it down into our point and guide it up towards the nail. Working it with the body of our brush. We're gonna go with more of a stiletto look since we're kind of keeping in the theme with the holidays. We'll go with a kind of a witchy look. Gonna put some up here toward the smile line area. Make sure we're far enough out on our sides. I'm gonna take a little liquid on my brush. I'm gonna turn the brush backwards and I'm gonna start kind of smearing it up into the body of the nail. Turn it around, I'm gonna just tap it, kind of get it wet 
and messy looking. Let's add a little bit more, a little small pearl, a little wet. I like to keep this look toward the smile line area. I don't like to go too far up the body of the nail. That way when they come in, in when that way when they come in about three weeks, it's gonna be growing out where I can cut it off, I can do whatever I want with it, I can cut a new smile line in, whatever it is I need to do. So we kind of have just a hot mess. Let's grab our cover pink. We're gonna get a nice little smaller wet pearl and I'm gonna blend it into that black right above the smile line. Pull it out, kind of just blending in them into each other. If you don't like how far up the black is, just get your brush wet and push it back. A little more pink. Once we have that, pull it down a little bit. Now we can fill in the back area. Grab ourselves a bigger size pearl. Walk it to the cuticle area. Get that nice and tight. I'll hold the finger down. Let gravity work for me a little bit. I'm trying to keep the bulk of the product right here in the stress area. Lightly pull it down. Now on camera, this looks pretty burly, but if you looked at it from the side point of view, we don't have enough strength right around here. I don't wanna keep on working it with pink and black. Once I achieve the look, I cap it in clear. That way I won't file out my look when I go to file. So let's go ahead and grab our speed clear. Go right into it. And go right into it, you don't have to wait. in those low points, always looking at the product or the nail from a side point of view. This will tell me exactly where I need to add. Longer nail always requires more product. This is why we charge more for it. Again, looking at it from the side again, just add a little bit more through here. And a little clear up in here. And we have our nail. We're gonna let it dry out and then we'll file it. So we have finished filed our ombre nail and a miracle of miracles, we have an extra nail. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and show you that technique I was talking about on how to do the orange. So what I've done here is I've sculpted out a cover pink nail. I've done it thinner than I would normally leave a nude nail because we're gonna put bulk on top of it. So we're gonna start by pulling out our caution to the wind slip pour. That's what we're gonna use for our orange. We're gonna get out our conversion base and top and a little spoon for us to pour the slip pour on top. Grab our nail. The first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to protein bond the top of the acrylic. This makes sure that everything sticks and nothing chips. After I've done that to all the nails that are gonna get it, we're gonna go into our conversion base. We're just gonna put a nice little thin coat on top of the whole nail. I'm not gonna overthink this one. As far as the cuticle area, I'm just gonna get it on. And we're gonna pour our slip pour color right over the top of this. I'd like to start at the very end of the nail and then work myself up to the cuticle area. This helps make it apply very evenly. Once we have it over the top of the whole nail, I'm just gonna lightly dust it off. And we're gonna get it inside the light for one minute. Okay. 
once we have cured that out, we're gonna go ahead and apply a second coat of conversion base. This is the time that I really pay attention to my sides and make sure that I have it all the way around. Again, nice little thin coat, making sure that we got it to the cuticle area, that we have our edges. Go ahead and pull out our powder again. So I see a little Furby. Let's get that out of there. Let's go ahead and pour it over the top again. Make sure and turn the finger so we're getting those edges. And follow all the way up to the cuticle. Let it absorb in a little bit. Tap the nail off. And let's get it in the light for another minute. Once we're done with that, we're gonna pull it out of the light. I'm gonna take a look at it. This is the time that you can touch up any areas that you need. So let's make sure that our sides are nice and sharp, that our cuticle area is nice and tight. So remember we made that nail thinner, the acrylic nail thinner, because we added bulk by putting the slip pour on top. But now when our client comes back for maintenance, all we have to do is electric file that top layer of slip pour off and hit the natural nude nail. And we're good to go to put whatever we want back on top. So if you had just built, see I would have thought in the beginning, you just build it out with a green, or excuse me, an orange, you build it out with an orange color acrylic, the whole nail. Yep, you could. And you could, but now they have this orange acrylic nail and they come back in three, two, three weeks and you're like, oh, what am I supposed to do with this orange? You so have to remove the whole thing. You'd have you to wanted. remove, yeah, if you're doing something different. That is exactly the same reason why, I've got orange all over this. It's exactly the same reason I like to keep the ombre lower too, because in three weeks it's gonna be grown out. So I'm always constantly thinking about how much work am I gonna have to do their Later. next appointment. Got it. So we'll dust that off, take a little swipe, clean this off. We're gonna add our gold stripe to this nail and then we'll top coat both of these nails with conversion top. We're gonna grab our mission control, a tile and a striper brush and we're gonna hope that I'm not shaking right now <laughs> and try to get a straight line. We're gonna get it on our nails. And we're just gonna paint down the center. If you need to come back through, you can totally come back through. If you wanna to touch it up, I'm not gonna overthink this. It's good to go. We're gonna go ahead and grab our light and cure it out for 60 seconds. Once that's done curing, go ahead and grab our conversion top and top coat both of, both of the nails. Once that's done, let's go ahead and get it in our light for another 60 seconds. Once we're done with the light, we're gonna go ahead and cleanse our sticky layer off with our manicure cleanse. Right. We've 
got our nail. The big flipping question is here, Tracy. How much? I think I added 125. Whoa! Let's see if I'm right. We have 90 for the base, $10 charge for ombre. You're charging for that ombre. Did you see me work at it? I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna charge an extra five for the orange because it's an additional color. And we're charging an ad additional five for the stone. There was two stones on that set, so that's another five. I have an extra 10 for the length and an extra 10 for the shape. 135, I was wrong. But what about that stripe down the middle, that gold? Oh, nice reminder. Another five. 140. That's a $140 set of nails. But again, this is because you set it up properly. Right. It's something that they're gonna you're gonna be able to change it out, change it out, or adjust, add to it. Like it's very workable. Very workable. They'll be able to use it in the future. We can cover it, we can add to it, we can do whatever we want to it. It's gonna be easy to maintain. Plus, remember, I'm not saying you have to charge $90. I'm just saying make sure that you're getting your your worth. So let's say your base is 60. You gotta add those additional things onto your 60. Or they can just have a nice black and orange set. Correct. Period. So uh, have fun with it. I love this kind of art. It's not so literal. It's, it's my vibe. Um, and it just makes for a fun holiday season. You heard it right here. This is a $140 set of nails that Tracy created. Um, hey, charge 140. Try to get it you in your area. It. You can get it. <laughs> or uh, like Tracy said, you can you can move towards that level. The bottom line is number one, don't go literal if you can't. That way they can continue to wear it and tell your client that. That way they understand and they know that you're a smart nail technician thinking about the future. Also, the way that you create your sets, think about maintenance like Tracy did, $140. We will see you next week on How Much.